Hello guys, welcome. This is David. I do hope you're doing well. And firstly, a big shout out. The new year results are in and November 2023 students. Guys, well done if you passed part one. Big well done if you passed part two, completing the whole thing. Well done to you guys. And hello, hello guys to the new students starting out part one or moving on perhaps to part two coming up in 2024. Got a short video here looking at how to plan your studies. Let's check it out. Now, the first thing to do is to do your homework, of course, about what to expect. Starting off, guys, with part one here, where we have uh, four topics, 62 individual readings. Now, many of the areas, guys, here, I guess you may have come across some of these areas before, whether it might be fixed income or interest rates, um, perhaps options, guys, futures and forwards as well, or perhaps you've got more of a stats or quant background. Um, if you do, great. Because if you don't have any of those backgrounds at all, don't worry about this. Um, there's plenty of help and support all the way through, guys, your, your learning journey. So we can help you, but um, I'll show you how we can help you very shortly. If you're moving on to part two from part one, um, well, the reading numbers go up. Look at that, 103 individual readings. By goodness me, it's going to be wordy. Um, however, although it's going to be wordy, it's going to be interesting. Uh, market risk, credit risk, operational risk, the big three risks. What about the missing risk of liquidity risk and treasury risk? Some of these things have been added in recent years. Um, investment management risk, and then also current issues. So, in uh, part two, the uh, the AI, the climate risk, um, decentralized finance and cryptocurrencies, very much um, uh, hot issues at the moment, come in the current issues area, as well as most of the, the regulatory overview and how things work in real life. So part two, very practical. Remember, guys, that uh, the reason why they're called part one and part two is that in 2009, they sliced the FRM curriculum into two. Um, and uh, previously it was one exam to 2009, uh, cutting it into two parts. Um, so yeah, part two, definitely a step up in terms of volume, although really um, kind of a similar level of, uh, of difficulty, I would say. Now, how can you prepare? How can you plan your success? What uh, hints and tips would, uh, would, would I give you? Well, guys, first thing I'm going to say to you is the Schweizer notes are the way forward to learn rather than rather than rely uh, on the GARP uh, readings, the GARP readings. Now, the GARP readings, there's nothing inherently wrong with them. You're just going to get overloaded with detail. It's going to take you probably twice as long, and the, the progress would be far, far slower. So the benefit, guys, of Schweizer Notes, whether it's for the FRM or for Kaya or for the CFA, well known, um, it's going to speed up your learning. You're going to focus far more on what you need to know, not on the background research. Now, the, the uh, nowadays the way people learn varies, but um, having accompanying explanations and accompanying videos, because having your own tutor instructor makes an enormous difference, particularly if you haven't seen the material before. We really want to work on certain uh, uh, troublesome areas. So I do recommend, guys, the accompanying uh, on-demand video classes, which um, are going to make an enormous difference. Now, practice, 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 practice. You know what I'm saying here. Um, you can read about it, but until you practice the questions, particularly focusing on learning outcome statements, being thorough with your practice, um, and the Schweizer Q Bank, well, well placed to help you with the practice as well too. What about when you need a hand? Who, who, who are you going to call? Well, guys, you should call the instructors here, Martin and myself, Martin Sonoff and myself. Um, and via the forum, community forum, via the instructor link, guys, reach out and get your money's worth, right? So if you're stuck and you're not clear, you want a hand, um, that's what we're, we're here for. Uh, and uh, guys, the, the team, the team who writes the books, um, guys, you've got to uh, tap into the experience of people like Eric Smith, who uh, is a heck of a lot in terms of writing the materials. Now, the, um, the, the learning phase 
gets you to about kind of uh, six weeks before the exam, how are you going to prepare in those final stages? Guys, you need the review, the on-demand review. Um, an on-demand review gives you a new set of Q&A practice. Um, you've already gone through the question bank, the Schweizer Pro. What about now extra new questions to practice in the review phase? And what about those Gart mocks and the, and the Kaplan Schweizer mocks as well too? Uh, really important, guys, that you do start to practice and also refresh and review what you've learned as well. So finally, let's uh, focus on some instructor tips to uh, finish off here. And as I say, uh, practice, practice, practice and practice some more is going to be the, the, the way forward. Um, if all you're doing is reading, you aren't getting match fit enough. Um, so I think in, in reality, a combination. Um, for example, guys, uh, practicing and using the secret source, the summary is a really useful uh, technique. Now, very often in the in the FRM readings, they're gonna overload you with content, overload you with background, overload you with research. It's a bit like kind of an iceberg scenario. Your, your goal is not to, to, to get into amongst the small prints. Your goal is to focus on the key ideas, keep out of the weeds. So, um, yeah, focus on the key learning objectives, not all the background. Um, building momentum of studying regularly, little and often, make a, hu a huge difference. Um, and um, this idea, guys, of, of aiming to learn... Well, it's not time to learn all of it. I, I think about the 90-10 rule here, that uh, if you try and learn everything in on every page, you'd never get off the first page. So the idea, guys, here is to uh, aim, say, for 90% of every topic and then move on. Uh, if you have time to go back and try and add a bit more, but the marginal benefit is not really worth it. So no one knows it all. Guys, uh, keep momentum through the topics. Um, and be persistent, be persistent. Um, things might look tricky, might look difficult, but once you kind of get that uh, that aha moment where you really have cracked it, you understand it, it'll make all the difference. Um, guys, keep going, be persistent. And finally, you don't have to study the material in the order that, it, that it's laid out. Maybe you work in credit risk or you work with stats or maybe you prefer certain areas. Perhaps start with what you know and build upon that as well. So guys, uh, just to sum up here, uh, all the best for 2024. Um, the tips I've given you regarding the Schweizer study notes will make a huge difference. Um, reach out to us if you need a hand and guys, very be best wishes with your study in 2024.